Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you uh, to everyone, but I want to give my special thanks and all of our special thanks to the panel. This was a tremendous discussion and, again, scratched the surface, didn't it, in some ways of this very complex issue that we are talking about. But, again, uh, thank you, Nanosi, for chairing this uh, panel and managing it so so well. This is a, a, not an easy panel to manage, so thank you for that. Thank you, Peter. Uh, thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Martin. And thank you especially Jorgen, who stepped in at the last minute uh, and represented the private sector uh, so, so well. <laughs> this is a Volkswagen representative, if you didn't know, uh, at least. <laughs> and, and again, also thank you so much uh, to Jose Manuel and Tamar for presenting uh, this report from the joint team. Again, I won't uh, attempt to summarize, but just to underline two points, um, one made by the panel and the other from the report. And this is really the invitation to everyone. The point made by the panel that I want to emphasize is that there is a disjunct but a link between the policy response to the crisis, which is what this report and much of the discussion talked about, and the jobs, the ongoing jobs crisis that we talked about, whether it be for youth employment, whether it be for older people, whether it be in the rich countries uh, for wage workers, whether it be in the poorer countries for non-wage workers and those working in agriculture. And I think that is an important distinction um, that we need to understand, that these were and are special times, but there is, it overlays a long-term problem, a long-term challenge, as the world changes, technology changes, uh, the force of globalization and technology um, brings the world both closer together and changes the production function that we work with. My second and last point, though, is to echo more broadly the invitation from Tamar. Uh, this was not primarily the launch of the report. The report was a quick way for the team to summarize some of the high-level trends that they were able to get from the data. The real invitation is that this is, we hope, a, a long-lasting snapshot of this very important historical moment in the world's recent history of the crisis and its effect on jobs. We really hope that all of you who work on these issues, who think about these issues, will go in, click through those lovely drop-down charts that Rosa Manuel demonstrated, and then use the data to do much more in-depth analysis on parts of the data. And it's from that and from that conversation and from that analysis that we'll have a better insights uh, for the world ahead and the longer challenge ahead. So once again, thank you to all of you, including those watching uh, us live, and thank you again to all the speakers. Have a good afternoon and enjoy the rest of the